Are you worried that you might have skin cancer? Skin cancer is the most common cancer by far. It's more common than all other cancers combined. In fact, if you look at the Caucasian population in North America, half of us can expect to have a skin cancer in our lifetime if you've been in the sun at all, or even worse, if you've been in tanning beds. So what do you look for with skin cancer? One, is it funny looking? Does it itch? Does it bleed? Is it getting bigger? Is it changing color? Those are some uh, some signs of a, a lesion that would make you concerned or suspicious that you have a, a skin cancer going on. Obviously, someone's going to need to look at it. Here at Fine Art Skin and Laser, we do two to 3,000 skin cancer uh, reconstructions every year. It's a very big part of our practice, and we're specialists in that. So we look at it with a binocular, high-power microscope from the beginning before we can even recommend what you should do about it. And the nice thing about that is, 99% of the time, we can tell you, is this a cancer? Just by looking at it with a high power microscope. Or is it benign? And then there are a few of them that we're not real sure about, and then we'll tell you the percentage of probability that that is or isn't, and then we can decide, is this something that we want to remove and have a pathologist look at it and just get it out of the picture, or something that we want to just sort of now watch and see what happens with it over the next three to six months. So what you should do with skin cancers is this. You should be very precautious so that you don't get the sort of radiation that would promote or accelerate skin cancers, tanning beds especially, or noon sun. Two, if you have something that's suspicious, someone should take a look at it. And if it's very suspicious, it needs to be removed with a margin of normal skin around it so that we get the whole thing off, uh, or at the very least biopsied, and then decide if it needs to come off even further than that. So skin cancer is a very serious problem. It's the number one cause of cancer death in women 20 to 30. It's not something that everybody else gets. It's something that many of us will get in our lifetime. And it's something that if we can get them early and when they're small, the cosmetic injury is very, very minimal. Uh, and the, the, re the recovery rate or the cure rate can be extremely high, right up to some of them we can tell you there's a 100% chance we got all of that out of there. So it's, a, it's an easy problem as you get it when it, in a timely manner. If you let it go, then it becomes problematic. So skin cancer treatment is an essential medical procedure, and it's covered by every insurance plan. The cost of skin cancer removal, let's say you don't have insurance, could be just several hundred to, at the most, a thousand or two thousand dollars in the very extreme case of a big skin cancer flap. So it's a pretty affordable procedure. It's not something dramatic. If someone's taking you to the operating room, yes, you can see costs in the several thousand dollar range. If we do it here in our offices, we have surgical suites here, uh, we avoid OR costs and anesthesiologist costs, and it's far more convenient. This is our special, this is our baby. We love to do it. We'd love to see you here uh, to take a look at your uh, lesions of concern and do a surveillance screen if that's appropriate for you and then come up with a plan about you know, where we go from there.